Join me for a day in my life living here in Tokyo. This is a Sunday and I'm going to go to a festival market rooftop bar and do my groceries. So join me for the ride. I slept in quite a bit, so it was a slow start, but I went for a morning walk and came across this bakery which had the most amazing bread. Like, look at how beautiful everything is. And I picked up some bread and had to pay in cash because they don't accept cart. I just got back from the bakery and a nice long walk. And oh my God, I'm obsessed with this little tote bag I got. And if you know me, you know I love Shiba Inu. And it's a Shiba inside of a dorayaki. It's gonna be my favorite bread bag. But let me show you what I got. This is Rai Mugi bread. And in Japan, they don't have a lot of like wholemeal bread. So this is something I always buy and stock up on and put it in the freezer. A croissant. This is my recent obsession. I don't know why French people, does it look authentic? I honestly think the croissants in Japan are pretty good depending on the place you go. Like look how crispy it is. And in the side and inside is so fluffy. I got this fun item. It's like a macadamia nut stick. And so <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of thing overseas, but like each little lump has like a little macadamia nut inside it. <laughs> Hmm. If you're wondering how much everything cost for the loaf of bread, it was 520 yen. Then the little macadamia nut stick was 140 yen and the croissant was 220 yen plus tax. So in total, everything was 950. And honestly, for Japan, that's pretty cheap. Can't enjoy brekkie without coffee today. So this is something I bought recently in my supermarket haul video. So check that out if you haven't already. And this is Saruta Hikokohi and they are really popular coffee um, chain here. They, they, they just like come out of nowhere and they sell like little bags. And this is my first time trying them. This is really light and refreshing. I love that because I'm still new to black coffee, so so long as it's kind of like fruity or light, I am okay. So approved by me. Mm. We're actually heading into autumn soon and it's one of my favorite times of year in Japan, not only because of the beautiful red leaves, but because of all the seasonal stuff. Okay, I'm so hyped. Every time I'd walk past my local like pharmacy chemist, I would see these really cool limited edition designs. And yes, I did something called pakegai, which is basically when you buy something, when you think the packaging or the like characters on it are really cool. And this is what I got. So these are these eye masks and I actually use them when I can't sleep. Um, you're not supposed to use these when you sleep, but yeah, if the room's too bright, especially when I'm on business trips, I like to just put one of these on and it's like a heated eye mask. And look at the design. Isn't this so pretty? And it smells like Kinmokuse, I guess, which is like an autumn inspired scent. And then, the, oh my God, they had Pikachu, like Pokemon ones too. I actually bought these last year around the same time. And so it's this collab from Pokemon Sleep, which I've been seeing everywhere. And I already opened it up and inside you get different characters. And oh my God, look at them. Ah! Are these the cutest things ever? Oh my goodness. I love the Pokemon Sleep aesthetic. And for a box, it's about a thousand yen and you got 10 inside. So it's like a hundred yen per eye mask. And then, I'm obsessed with tea and I'm a sucker for like seasonal stuff and I saw these like momiji like genmai cha tea bags and okay they're a little pricier than like usual cheaper than if you went into like a cafe or restaurant but when you pour it out there's like a red leaf inside and then one more tea related thing which is kuri tea and it's like Halloween themed and kuri is chestnuts so I'm very curious because it's like, I think it's black tea. So not Japanese tea, chestnut black tea. Honestly, the packaging is half the reason I wanted this because it was so cute. And I've just been having it like in my room displayed so I can admire it before I use it. And then two other things I recently got, which are not related to anything, but this is like a show you what I recently <laughs> acquired in my life is um, these cute stickers. Yeah, so my friend Marina is so talented. She's an artist and she 
created these and I got them at the Ardedly event, which is in Tokyo. And then I got this at Loft, my Shiba Inu sticker, which is, you know, part of the same series as the Shiba Inu bag. Very excited. And then I also got another packet of Pokemon cards. <laughs> I started, guys, I'm, I'm getting addicted. So I'm gonna open it up with you guys and see what's inside, but I'm a little scared because uh, how many am I gonna keep buying now? I got a shiny, but what is this guy? I don't know who you are. Damn. There's only five cards in here. The other deck, like, pack I got had way more. I don't know any of you guys. I mean, I know you, but I don't know you that well. Damn. Maybe it's time for me to stop getting them. <laughs> Hello. Guten Tag, as Sarah's people say. <laughs> Alyssa and I are actually heading to a coffee festival and it's only on for one weekend this October and I've never been to one before, have you? No, but my qualifications are I like coffee. That's so a good qualification, you basic, basic I feel like it's all you need. <laughs> I'm hydrating now, so I'm prepared to drink coffee. Good idea. So at the Tokyo Coffee Festival, there are a lot of different like coffee shops that are local and international, kind of having a little stall here. And so if you paid about 2,000 yen online in advance, you get this little like cup, which is like actually way smaller than a coin. <laughs> it's a tasting cup. And we get to go to four different places with our coins to redeem our coffee cups. It's kind of overwhelming because there's over 40 places here. Yeah, and I cannot tell the difference between like any of them. Like I recognize a few of the stores, but like I guess some of them, some of them are just gonna be really similar. So we just gotta, I guess, take a shot in the dark. I was saying we picked the one with the shortest line. That's not a bad strategy. technique, but then I want it to be good. I guess we do have three more attempts. Three more attempts. How about you pick one, then I pick one. Okay, okay, that's good. You pick that's two, good. I pick two kind okay. of thing. I was gonna get the geisha coffee, but it was worth two coins and I was like, damn it, why do I have such good taste? So I went with a like one point option. I think it was like Colombia or something or other. It's a bit bitter for my liking. I'm not there yet, guys. So maybe I have to like use two coins to get something like light and fruity. Damn it, I have regrets. Also, when you have too much coffee, I feel like you get like dehydrated and have like headaches. So I'm, I have to like be careful, even though they're small portions. I feel like it's way stronger and hits you harder when it's black. Do you agree? Is that just me? It's just me, apparently. Used my last tokens to grab a takeaway coffee, which was the best option, while walking around the farmer's market that is actually on every Sunday, I believe in the same area and found this really cool bonsai shop and they have workshops which I'm thinking of doing in the future. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and also came across a really beautiful knife store and learned a little bit about the Japanese knives. That's Sekiifu, that's uh, Tosa by two different artisans. So, so that one's a little taller. A more proper way to hold it? Like that or? Yeah. This finger and then your guard mm -hmm. like that. You can't cut yourself. Right. Went and got a Sri Lankan banana leaf curry, which I'm really excited about. That's the cool thing about markets, you can just try things you never have. And you have never had a donut in your I've life. I've never had a good donut in Japan in my life. Is that change? <laughs> the frosting is really good. It's like raspberry frosting is very cute. It's a little guy. The donut itself is about the quality I expect from <laughs> Japanese donuts, but this is really fun. You like undo it yourself. Oh my god, that's really fun. Oh, it smells amazing. Wow. Oh my god, it's actually warm. I didn't think it would be warm. Wow. I think I'm meant to mix it. Like bibimbap? Like, <laughs> sure. Like bibimbap. <laughs> it's good. It's got coconut inside. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Wow. I actually had a place favorited in my Google Maps for the longest time, and it's this bar. <laughs> up high and it's only on the fifth floor but you get a really cool unique perspective of the back streets of Omotesando which is not too common 
and I can see like this chapel that's actually really well known in this district and when you walk down the side streets a lot of people stop and stare because it just kind of doesn't fit the aesthetic of everything else here but uh, Alyssa's vibing. Rooftop bars are like one of my top 100 favorite things which I know that sounds low but out of all the things I do like them a lot and you can see Shinjuku in the distance plus we got some of the best seats because we've got um, terrace seats next to the view with and a glass. Water. There's like water. <laughs> Yay! And it's perfect weather, like the sun is just kind of like pouring in on me. They, they didn't want to see us in the sun and I was like, please put me in the sun. Apparently this place looks really good at night time, so now I'm like, we should come back at night time. There must be so many nice like bars throughout Tokyo that you don't even know about. So I'm on a hunt. I love rooftop bars and I'm going to keep finding them and introducing them because this is definitely not like a, this is not secret, but it's definitely not one of the most famous, well-known ones. <laughs> I got these mushrooms and then I got these mushrooms and then I saw like these mushrooms and then a mushroom pasta. It's amazing. Successful grocery haul at Picard. I love this place so much and it's actually a real French supermarket. I saw it when I was in France earlier this year for my Europe trip and ah, I'm so happy I bought a bunch of stuff. And I converted Alyssa. She never bought anything really much from here before. So I, I'm pretty happy about that. It's not too late. It's about four o'clock, but I think I'm going to have an early evening back at home because I'm feeling really tired and I have, you know, tomorrow's Monday. So i got to rest up and have a big week. Lots of work. How are you feeling? That was amazing. I got so many mushrooms. I'm so excited. French mushrooms. French mushrooms. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to have this for dinner probably. <laughs> Same though. <laughs> Now that it's chilly, just a little bit, I've got my cubby gong, also known as Snorlax onesie on, and it is the comfiest thing ever. So I kind of lounge around the house in this, which is very appropriate for a Snorlax outfit. Very appropriate. <laughs> this is actually what I my true form is at home, but you can witness it for the first time. Anyhow, um, I didn't feel like cooking anything, so I used my Picard stuff immediately to get this soup ready. That was so easy to make and it's very nutritious because look at this, all these veggies. And I, my bread that I bought early this morning, I'm gonna dip it in and have it with some cottage cheese. So yay for simple dinners. <laughs> and then probably watch some anime, um, maybe something on Netflix. If you have any recommendations from Picard, let me know. Probably only a few of you that will know it, but um, otherwise, if you have any reasonably healthy Japanese frozen food recommendations, let me know. There's a couple that I actually do like. There's this um, supermarket near Shinjuku Sanchome or inside the station, and it sells like veggie gyoza. It's really good, but I don't buy too much frozen stuff. Literally, Picard. <laughs> also, if you're wondering where you can get these onesies, every year around Halloween, these go on sale around Donkey. Maybe they're year round now, but they have so many different varieties. When I bought this, it was probably Pikachu or Snorlax. But now they have like Eevee Evolutions. They have some more niche ones. Like I think they have Psyduck as well as Slowpoke, which I think is kind of niche for like a whole onesie. And then they all obviously have other characters like, I don't know, Hello Kitty and Sanrio and all that. But yeah, I think when I bought it, it was like 3,500, but still around 4,000 yen, which honestly, if you like to be comfy in life, you won't regret this investment. I try to convince everyone to get it. But this one is, it has these little like claw paws, which is very kawaii. <laughs> Alyssa loves that about this. <laughs> I'm trying to convince her to get one. So then we can be matching, but the day will come eventually. And then I will walk around Tokyo, not like Godzilla, but like Snorlax. Even though I love going out in Tokyo, I am the biggest homebody. So I'm going to wind down on this lovely Sunday night with Oshinoko and I'm halfway through season two and I got my snacks 
my British snacks. <laughs> Cheddar crackers from Picard. 